What's up guys? Welcome to Trilogy Effect. Today we're going to be going through all seven Marvel MCU Disney Plus original shows. We're going to be going through Loki, WandaVision, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Hawkeye, and the latest Miss Marvel, Moon Knight. I think I've missed all seven of those. We've also done a ranking of all six Phase 4 movies. If you want to see that, there's the link up above. And with that said, I'm Trilogy with Trilogy Effect. We do a lot of Marvel, gaming, anime, all kinds of content like that. Subscribe. I do have curated playlists on my channel. It really helps the channel if you would like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, consider hitting that notification bell. With that said, intro out of the way. Thank you for watching. And we're going to get into it. Number seven for me personally, out of all seven Marvel shows that we've gotten, I'm going to go ahead and put Hawkeye here. This is going to be Jeremy Renner, of course. And then we have um, the other girl. I forget her name. I forget her name. Kate Bishop is her actual name. But I forget the actress's name. This show just did not interest me at all. It may be nothing against the show. This is my personal list, of course. But I'm, I've just never been really interested in Hawkeye, period. Like, in any of his movies or in stuff like that. It's just, you know, I prefer Black Widow and even Black Widow, I don't prefer that much, you know? So, I mean, I, that's why it's at the bottom of the list. I did give it a shot, you know, with Kate Bishop. She was kind of interesting, but not really. The best thing about this show is we got to see Kingpin from the Daredevil show. And that's that's pretty much it. We also got to see Yelena um, with um, Florence Pugh. That was pretty good, um, but it's not a good sign when other guest characters are better than your main characters, in my opinion. Up next is going to be the latest Marvel show. This is going to be Miss Marvel. I know, I just, you know, between them changing Miss Marvel's powers and, I don't know, the the younger, you know, younger, you know, audience aimed for, I feel like. I feel like this show is aimed at a, a younger audience and that's apparent in its writing and setting and storyboard, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I like the actress. She plays a perfect Miss Marvel. I'm not the biggest Miss Marvel, but it's actually someone I know. You know, some of these newer heroes, I'm like, who is Shang-Chi? You know, who are the Eternals? I don't know who those guys are, but I am familiar with Miss Marvel. She usually does hang out with Miles Morales, which, you know, Miles really isn't in the MCU. So maybe she'll hang out with Peter Parker, Tom Holland in a future movie or show, you know? Um, overall, I mean, it wasn't just like every week I was like, ah, Miss Marvel came out. I need to catch up. And, you know, I would just watch it when I got around to it. I did like the, you know, I, and honestly, I didn't really like the twist at the end where instead of her being inhuman, like in the comic, but the inhuman show didn't do good. So I know they're trying to get rid of the inhumans. Although, are they trying to get rid of the inhumans? Because they had Black Bolt in Doctor Strange, but you know, that was a different universe. So... But they did say she had a mutation. And then they played the early 90s X-Men animated theme song. Da -da 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 you know, that song is iconic. But it's just like, that's how they bring mutants into the MCU. By using Miss Marvel, they made Miss Marvel the first official mutant in the MCU. That's crazy. Spoilers, I guess. But, uh, you know, I feel like you wouldn't be watching this list if you hadn't watched them already. Yeah. Spoilers. <laughs> Up next, we're going to be doing number five, which is The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. This one is kind of, I feel like I would say this is like the middle ground of the shows. The Falcon and Winter Soldier had some really good episodes and it had some really not so good episodes. I liked Agent Z um, Baron Zemo. He was hilarious in this. I did like seeing the Wakandan Soldier show up. Um, I didn't like what they did with Agent Carter's character, making her a bad guy. I didn't really like that development at all. It seemed like it came out of nowhere. I mean, her what she said about her being on the run from the government, that makes sense. But I'm like, dang, like, Captain America couldn't vouch for you? Because he died a hero, <laughs> you know? Um, up next is going to be the first Marvel show. This is going to be WandaVision. You know, WandaVision, the first three episodes are so slow. These show, the first three episodes are so slow. But on the first time view, you're just sitting there like, what's going on? It's like the ultimate mystery. Like you're trying to figure out what's going on. By episode four, it's just crescendoing and it just keeps going. Episode four, five, and six, crazy episodes. You just got to stick through it for those first three episodes. I don't think I could rewatch it knowing what's happening. But on a first time watch, if you haven't watched it, I think this, this show doesn't have a lot of rewatchability. 
but it's definitely something you should have on your watch list. Um, up next is gonna have Moon Knight, um, Moon Knight with Oscar Isaac. I liked Mark and Jake, the Mark, Jake, Steven, Jake, yeah, Mark, Jake, and Steven. I like Oscar Isaac playing different personality. I think that's pretty cool. I definitely like Steven the best. I feel like, you know, I don't know what the comics say, but an African god and an African, uh, you know, with an avatar, you know, seems like the perfect opportunity for a black actor, like a black man with an African god powered him. Like, we can't even get the African gods? Like, dang, you know, they got the the Greek gods for the white people and they got the Norse gods for the white people. We have Bast and Black Panther. But, you know, like, we couldn't get another African god on our side? Like, come on now. Come on now. Like, regardless of that, I'm not penalizing the show for that. I'm just saying, you know, like, if you're missing, like, that's the perfect alley-oop for a black character in a show, you know? It doesn't get any closer than African God, you know? That's just me. On our number two spot, if you can even count it, some people probably won't count it on their list because it's animated. I'm going to put Marvel's What If. I think this was really cool because it's like, what if? And then at the end, they tie it together that these What If shows are actually alternate universes in the MCU. That's super cool. And, you know, before we got to Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, the multiverse was like something we didn't really know about. And this show was like our first tiptoe into that area. I like it. You know, it doesn't really have like much of a plot until the later episodes. But as an anthology series, I think it's really good. And I like it. Number one is going to be Loki, which I've never been the biggest Loki fan. Like people love Loki. I think he's an essential member of the Thor cast. Like, a good Thor movie has Loki in it. But I'm not a big Loki fan. Although, <laughs> I love time travel. And I love multiverses. And this had kind of both, you know? And I liked it. Like, this is one of the few Marvel shows that I was like, oh, yeah, I gotta watch that. Loki came out, you know? So I was really on top of it. I liked Loki. It does have a season two coming out. I think it's actually the only one on this list with a season two. Hawkeye, no. Miss Marvel is going to be going to the Marvels, which I don't know if that's a TV show or a movie. WandaVision, no. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, no. But there, the Falcon is going to be getting Captain America 4. So there's that. Moon Knight might get a season two the way it ended, but I haven't heard if that's actually confirmed. What If is also getting a season two. So if you notice a trend, my top three are getting season two. So, you know... Hey, if my opinions are mainstream, they're mainstream. But that's my list, guys. Let me know what your list is down in the comments. If you want to see more content like this, please like and subscribe. I'm Trilogy, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. I love the hustle, man. I be feeling like one of them ball playing, like bird magic or something. But if I leave, the fans still gonna love me, man?